hello sweet lady so today we're going to be making satin bonnets so I, I saw this beautiful satin bonnet on karmic plug on instagram so i fell in love with it so i decided to make one for myself because i like the way it is on her head so let's get started this you'll be needing satin and also band like this type of band that you see on bomber jackets yes that is what i use you can see the way it is that is the band i use because it's going to be something that i'll be using to sleep so i want something that is very comfortable and yeah so this is it the kind of band that you see on bomber jackets by the way i made this beautiful bomber jacket if you would like to see a tutorial on it let me know in comment section all right so for this project i use uh less than one yard of satin yes so you cut out a square of fabric that measure 29 inches in all corners so it's 29 by 29 on the fourth side on all the four sides so after that you fold it into two then you fold it downward into four you just fold it as if you want to cut a peplum that is how the folding is so the next thing you want to do is to measure 14 inches downward this way starting from the tip you just measure 14 inches downward and then you're going to rotate the 14 inches all around just the way you used to rotate whenever you are making the peplum so just rotate the 14 inches all around this will give us the oversized uh, bonnet but if you want it to be smaller you can reduce it so after that you cut it out so if you open it now you have a big giant circle tada this is how it is you can see there is a big <laughs> giant circle all right so this is the band that i'm going to be using it usually come pre-cut and usually come in length 40 inches then the width is usually five inches so if you buy one you'll be able to use it to make two bonnets so and the price is very okay it goes for 500 naira yeah per one all right so i'm going to be cutting out 20 inches or you can measure your head circumference to guide you in knowing the amount you'll be needing or you can just wrap the band around your head and then you cut it out so but for me i'm going to be using 20 inches length so just like i said you can measure your head circumference this way just wrap the tape around your head across like this so for me i got 23 got 23. so whatever you get ensure you remove like at least three inches from there or you can just wrap the elastic band around your head to determine how much you'll be needing all right so we are going to be sewing it now the first thing you want to do is to change your machine dial to the longest stitch. so you are going to be running a gathering stitch all around the circle then after that you're going to pull the gather so i pulled the gather to about 40 inches you know this my band is 20 inches so i pulled the gather all around the circle to 40 inches so the next thing you want to do is to take your band then you're going to stitch one side close like this you stitch you stitch with half inch seam allowance so after after stitching i reduce the seam allowance to quarter inch so the next thing you want to do is to turn it to the right side you turn it to the right side then you grab the satin and then you match the right side of the band to the right side of the satin and then you stitch them together while you're stitching you'll be dragging the band just be pulling the band so that it's, it's going to match up with the circumference of the satin just the way i'm showing you here then when that is done you can see this is how it's going to look You 
can see this is the way it is now so the next thing you want to do is to is to bend the band into two so that you are now going to top stitch the band on the wrong side of the bonnet so just fold it into two the way i'm showing you like this then you top stitch the band to cover the raw edges of the of the satin like this you can see pull all the raw edges inward and then use the band to cover the whole seam allowance like so and when you're top stitching you have to pull the band again just the way you pull it while attaching it initially all right so this is it and then your satin bonnet is ready <laughs> so i'm going to wait now and show you how it looks the good thing about it is you can wear both the wrong side and the right side because both sides are neat you can see if you turn it to the wrong side you can wear it like that you can wear it from the wrong side or you can wear it from the right side so it's reversible you can wear either ways and it's so comfy because the band is very soft it's not going to affect you in any way you can see the way the band is very soft just like cardigan you know cool and comfy so i'll wait now and show you If you enjoyed this tutorial please kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section and if you would like to see a tutorial on bomber jacket let me know also if i see 100 comments i'm going to make the tutorial thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye